And uh, if we convert this data to Singapore dollar, Singapore dollar, 82 dollar per unit per year is the base, and the CO2 footprint, like this much CO2 footprint, is saved. So if to save this much of CO2 or electricity, we have to ask customers to be very much patient to reduce their productivity. That's going to be an issue. But uh, without asking something so much time to wait, uh, we can save like this much. And if customer use just a single unit, it is not so significant. But uh, typically, large customer use more than 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 units in the global organization. Then uh, times five years times 3,000, that's a significant. And especially for RICO, we are having uh, uh, more than one million multi-function device delivered to our global customers. And those equipment may be used five years and extra two years in uh, different second-hand customers. So we can suppose about seven million MFP working in the global customer base, just only for multi-function device, additionally printers. So if customer may use as manufacturer recommended, this much times seven million units. That's a significant number of people. So per piece, even though this is very limited, but uh, in much more scale, a very significant impact. Okay, the next is manufacturing. Uh, uh, we have achieved our ISO 14001 environmental management system in place uh, in 97, 96. And after that, we have achieved zero waste to landfill. In other words, there is no waste to go into landfill sites. And this is good for company to save money and it is also good for us to improve resource usage, good for environment. But uh, uh, when we talk about zero waste to landfill, there are three levels, and we are achieving second level or third level, and uh, including uh, industrial waste, plus uh, food waste or other general waste, and the special waste for uh, unique for the production line, and including all those levels, we achieve the waste to landfill. And uh, the way is to promote five hours, diffuse, design, reduce, reuse, and recycle. And the amount of waste is reduced in this way. And uh, according to our manufacturing side people, they can save, of course, environmental conscious teamwork established, reduce environmental impact, cost saving. And uh, cost and environmental impact is meaningful, but the much meaningful is this portion. Motivation of employee is very much powerful achievement through this approach. And this type of activity achieved in RICO can be communicated with our suppliers and also our uh, local community people, neighboring to our manufacturing plant. And we go to the university to talk about the benefits, how to achieve. And uh, we accept more visitors to our manufacturing plant to show our operation to other people so that they may do the same. And depending upon the situation, we send our expert to this area to our customers or suppliers to help them to achieve that. And this is uh, some picture in our main production factory. And in the past, hey, Eco, you have a large scale production. So you have a large belt conveyor put on the machine and the machine is moving and moving, keep moving. The people is putting something parts component. That is an old style of picture of mass production base. So you may misunderstand the people is small scale company. Uh, you can see this kind of cut or cheaply made. But this is totally opposite. 
illuminate them to convey a line. And the push cut system, driven by air pressure, one minute, 30 seconds is over to put the part, then the air cylinder push the cut, one cut push the next cut, and the entire line is moving. By doing so, electricity consumption changed to this way. 99% electricity can be saved, and the space required is much less compared with the conveyor line. And uh, also, much important thing is flexibility. We manufacture different types of products in a small scale, listening to the customer demand. And uh, in other words, some products may be high demand, the other products is low demand, it is much easier to change the production volume by motor in this way of production style. So in other words, CO2 emission, 99% safe, and very flexible to change production volume by motor. So this kind of thing is innovation. Improvement is like a 10% improvement, but the innovation is changed again. Game rule is changed, that is innovation. So even though this is like an old fashion, but uh, this is the latest fashion. Same uh, for this type of system. This is toner filling system. Toner is a powder uh, to create image on your paper. And toner is very small particle. It is very difficult to manage preventing toner scattering, uh, protecting people working in the manufacturing line. In the past, like this much large system required but uh, because of technology innovation, same function can be done in a much smaller scale. So in other words, uh, electricity consumption is also reduced, and initial investment to set a tonal film system uh, in the local uh, closer to the market is less cost required. So this is a kind of, let's say, innovation in the manufacturing system. So because of that, uh, it is possible for us to operate uh, to use return toner bottle. And the return toner bottle is washed and the toner is filled in the bottle and back to the customer again. So toner bottle reuse becomes possible by having this kind of less cost associated uh, equipment. If toner bottle return certain volume, we can do like this, this type of operation. Actually, this type of operation is taking place in Thailand and in Sino, uh, India, and the uh, product they have program. Uh, from customer, uh, they use a uh, toner product, and empty toner bottle, toner cartridge may be coming back to depot, and they segregate uh, some type of toner cartridge can be refilled uh, using this kind of small scale refilling equipment. But the less volume, very various different types of toner bottle, and the volume is not justified for this type of activity. And uh, this may be sent to waste to energy recovery site, or depend the countries, uh, plastic material is recovered as a used plastic. This type of operation is con uh, also uh, conducted in Asia Pacific region. So this is the uh, toner refilling system. And uh, the summary, uh, it calls way of thinking is commitment to establish sustainable environmental management. Uh, the key point is both environmental and the econo economic value can be achieved at the same time for DECO and also for our customers at the same time. Customer is happy, DECO is happy from both environmental and economic viewpoint. And for that, long-term view is very much important. And not just recall, whole product lifestyle thinking is very much important. So recall CO2 footprint is reduced, but instead, part supplier's environmental impact is much more than ever before. There is no meaning. So it is necessary to have an entire life cycle thinking. And in order to achieve innovation, it is very much important to get every single people engaged.